Hey guys, Doug the Michigan Piper coming to you from the Pipe Rest and uh, just forgot to get on and do a, a quick uh, <clears throat> first impression here. Um, I am smoking my Nording uh, Semi Warden and uh, picked this up at the Chicago Pipe Show last year. Absolutely love this guy. I don't smoke it often, um, but what I'm smoking in it today is an absolute wonderful blend. And if you watched my last video, uh, you know what I'm talking about, which is uh, Boswell's uh, No Bite Delight. Um, and I gotta say, I was unpleasantly surprised, and that's after reading the reviews. So, I'll start off with the only drawback that I can find. Uh, uh, what is this? Honey, chai, turmeric tea. The only drawback that I can find is that I read in several different reviews that uh, the, the topping on this is so light that you can you can pick out the uh, the flavors or of the tobacco, I should say. And it's not it's a drawback for me. It might not be a drawback for everybody in the fact that I really can't. Um, now my palate doesn't seem to be necessarily as defined, well-defined as a lot of other guys's. So take that with a grain of salt. That's really the only drawback I can find to this guy. Is this, this uh, for me, has a, a chocolate really reminiscent of Colt Red, Blood Red Moon. If you take the cherry out and just go with the chocolate, I've heard there's caramel in it. I'm not tasting the caramel a whole lot. But I will say that, man, Boswell's nailed it on this one too. Now, if you've watched my channel at all, you know I'm a big fan of, uh, of their bear blend, which is kind of a cherry blend, light cherry blend. This has some of the same quality, not a lot, but some of the same qualities as that. I'm picking up cherry, not cherry, um, I'm picking up chocolate mainly. Uh, but this to me, kind of, if you take Bear Blend and take the cherry out of it, and then you take the cherry out of Colt Blood Red Moon, and you put just a little, a little dash of, was it multi doche or multi doche or whatever, just a, just a hair in this. Um, this is kind of how it tastes. And, and it does, it is, it's, a, it's no bite at all. I hate, I hesitate to say the multi doche because that is so, so aromatic. It's like on aromatics scale, it's way, way up on top. And this isn't that way. As a matter of fact, I was a little nervous about this blend because uh, they said it was a light blend. And uh, I know I have some problems with some blends, Lane 1Q being the primary one, where it's so light, I just, I don't like it. Um, I know I'm kind of an odd duck when it comes to that because most people love Lane 1Q, but just not, not strong enough for me. So when I heard this was light, I was like, ah, crap, let me like Lane. I like the 1Q, because I love their RLP6. But uh, yeah, this is, guys, this is, and the room note on this is phenomenal. Retro hail is really nice. And it's a nice compliment to their premium burley that I had the other day, because it, it kind of goes down a different lane which is what I like. I like to be able to smoke different. As much as I want to be a one tobacco or a two to three tobacco smoker, I need some variety. And uh, this definitely complements the premium Burley I had the other day. But man, I, I am becoming a bigger and bigger Boswell's fan. I can tell you that much right now. I thought it was just their, their bear blend that was so good, but 
I don't know if I've had a, a blend of theirs yet that I don't like. So, uh, again, you guys know I don't do a whole lot of, of uh, reviews, but uh, I will say for this one, with my, with my three marker system, would I smoke if it was lasting in the store? Absolutely. Uh, would I go out and look for it? Yep. This I can see going out and looking for now. Speaking of Walter Doshe, I loved that. The first bowl I had of that, I was just, it was at the Chicago Pipe Show last year. Absolutely fell in love with it. But after that, which happens a lot of times with me, after that first bowl, I wasn't, it didn't thrill me as much, nearly as much. This, now, that the, may, the same may ring true with this. I doubt it, but we'll see. But I could see this filling that spot where Multidoshe was. Uh, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Nougat 24 by Peter Stokeby. Um, yeah. This reminds me of Nugget 24, but better done. Better, uh, more finely done. I don't know if that's the right word. Um, better quality. And you guys know me. I'm more of a codger than I am a, a stuck-up <laughs> smoker, snobby smoker. But, uh, yeah, I would say this is like a better Nugget 24. Um, this is almost... I'm glad I this pipe was perfect for it. I will tell you, I've got a church warden that I picked up at the Columbus Pipe Show, and this would be a good blend in that. This kind of takes me back, you know, to just makes me want to sit back with a church warden, you know, and sit in a meadow and <laughs> read a book or something while I'm smoking it. Now, like I said... You know, this is a this is an aromatic. It's not a heavy aromatic. It's a well done aromatic. So uh, I don't think it's something I want to smoke all the time. But back to my rating system. Is the last thing in the story? I said smoke it. Would I look for it? Yes. Would I put it in my rotation? By the way, the retro retro hail is really good on this too. I would have to say. We'll see. Um, the way this bowl tastes, I would say yes. However, uh, like I said in the last video, my rotation is kind of screwed up right now because my tastes are kind of changing and I'm starting to branch out a little bit. Um, so I could see this being a rotation. I could see the premium burly being a rotation, but it's going to take a few more bowls. This is just a first impression. So there you have it. So, I'm going to continue to enjoy this. Guys, I hope you all are doing well. And until next time, you take care.